Hey everybody, how are you? This is John Anzalone, superintendent for Camas School District. I'm so happy to be out here today with these gentlemen. Um, every couple of weeks we're going to be coming at you from a different program or activity here in Camas. We have some amazing things going on, but of course with it being homecoming week, we wanted to start out with football. And the weather may have changed, but one thing that hasn't is high school homecoming and it's no different here in Camas. Friday night, huge game all week long. These guys, cheerleaders, our band, everybody that has something to do with homecoming has been working hard and uh, these guys are no different. So I want to ask you guys, um, as, as you're preparing for Friday night, how do you balance school and football and work and all these other things going on in your life? What are some tips that you can give some of our parents and, and students out there about how you balance things out? Uh, well, for me, I try and uh, mostly like after practice, uh, get my stuff going. And if I have a lot of homework, not rush home, but I like, get home as fast as I can shower eat and do what i can afterwards and then uh get all the homework done but i try to um, get all my homework or most of my work done at school so i don't have too much to worry about or stress about when i get home and what's your name uh taylor yanni taylor nice to meet you and you play quarterback for yeah. campus right yeah. how do you feel about friday night's game um i think it'll be a good one um we just gotta prepare this week and stay focused throughout the whole week and uh, just be mentally prepared and uh, our strategizing got to be good this week. So Awesome, awesome. Well, I'll let you get back to practice in a minute. Um, and what about yourself? How do you balance everything out? For me personally, I don't have classes that give a ton of homework. But, I mean, when I do get homework, I'll try to get it done at school because I like to have free time. I think that's important to me. So I have time to myself. And, yeah. Yeah, spend some time with friends and family. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Zach Blair. Good to meet you, Zach. And Good you play? You. Wide receiver. Awesome, man. Great, great season so far. Thank you. And uh, what about yourself? Uh, how do you balance things out? What are some tips that you can give? I think uh, for me, a big thing is compartmentalizing my uh, my sports and my school. Because you know, if if I'm at practice or something and I'm and I'm thinking about school, obviously I'm not going to be able to perform like I want. And if I'm at school thinking about sports, it's going to be the same way. I'm not going to be able to put all my focus into my academics. So I think really not separating, but trying to keep them like not in like the same mindset is, is really important. Yeah, that's great, that's great. And then um, I'm assuming you guys started playing sports pretty young, getting involved in school. Why do you think that's important to be involved, whether it's football or, or other activities, clubs? Any Anybody have an answer to that? What can you tell kids out there that are looking to, to come into high school, you know, next year, the year after, getting involved? Is that important? Yeah, I think uh, getting involved is obviously really important you want to be a part of commu your community if if you just show up to school and you know you just go home and you're you're not a part of the community you're not really gonna integrate and, and find the people that really share the same values as you yeah uh, any anything else i think it's important because you'll you know you'll build friendships you'll meet people you know who you can rely on you know count on things like that it's important to build friendships for me i think that's pretty important yeah sounds like uh, what you put in you get out right yeah, exactly yeah anything from you um, kind of like what Zach said, like you get to meet a bunch of new people and you get to uh, build a bunch of friendships. Like um, I didn't know half, almost half the team my freshman year and I came to be a good friends with all of them. And just seeing the new kids uh, throughout the years, like my sophomore year, meeting all the seniors and then just meeting all the younger kids as uh, years went by, it was really, really good for us. That's some great tips. Well, there you have it, right from the players themselves. If, if you don't have any plans Friday night, we hope to see you at the game. It's going to be great. And on to the playoffs, right? Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys.